An Aloha man is in jail tonight after Washington County deputies say he threatened a black FedEx driver using racial slurs and making mention of a gun he had. Fox 12's Kendra Kent spoke to that driver and tells us more. Deputies say that this happened just before one this afternoon and the suspect is now in jail facing several different charges. The delivery truck driver and the suspect's wife did have very different stories about what happened. Still, I'm still in shock. I'm just like, oh, this just happened to me. For Akil Horn, it was a disturbing welcome to Portland and his brand new job. The 22 year old says he just moved here from California three weeks ago and became a FedEx driver. Horn says his route Sunday in Aloha left him in fear for his life after a man yelled at him for speeding, used racial slurs and even followed him for several blocks and blocked his van during a delivery. Horn says the man even got out of his car to yell more and threaten him with a gun. I'm like, I didn't know it was a BB gun. Me, I think I'm thinking it's a real gun. And when he says I'm not afraid to use it, honestly, I'm a minister. So the first thing that popped in my mind, oh, I'm going to die. But then I said, no, I'm not. I'm like, he gave me enough room to get out. Thank God. And I got out. Horn says that's when he drove away again and called 911. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says the encounter happened near Southwest Cascadia Court on 188th Avenue. Deputies arrested 68-year-old Rodney Bryan and charged him with first-degree bias crime, unlawful use of a weapon, and menacing. Deputies say they seized a pellet gun that did not have an orange tip and looked like a real gun. Totally stunned. I knew they'd, been, they'd arrested him, which seemed crazy. And then when I saw the posting, I was just flabbergasted. Joyce Harmon is Rodney Bryant's wife. Harmon says she wanted to talk to Fox 12 to make two things clear. One, that her husband is not a racist and that he never threatened anyone with a gun. He was concerned about the driver speeding, so he wanted to ask him to slow down. And so he found him and did that. But the driver yelled at him and he yelled back. He's a very um, loving person. He's not a bully. He's not mean. He's, he's very kind-hearted. Harmon says police took the BB gun from their home, and she says it was never in her husband's car. As for Horn, he says what happened is clear, and there's no excuse. Shouldn't be a reason where you calling me the N-word or saying you're not afraid to use your gun. There's no explanation for that. Horn says that he does not plan on quitting his job. He also says what happened to him does not change his opinion on his new city. Reporting tonight in Hillsborough, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.